What's up, everybody? This is your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV. And today I'm going to do two full reviews on two dope cheapies from the house of Kamara. Now, while testing these and doing a full wearing, giving it a full wearing, I had a great and amazing time with these. And these are some stellar, dope, just hurry up and buy before it's all gone type of a fragrances as well as the other two but the other two is for a later video but i'm talking too much but without further ado let's just jump into it and those two fragrances from the house of kamara we have contra exquisite latin edition latin royal edition eau de parfum and also from the house of kamara we have contra for you and also a edp concentration amazing atomizer this fragrance ran me $15 and some change at Marshall's ladies and gentlemen friends and family this fragrance right here has no business smelling so good so dope so high quality no alcohol blast or any type of whiffs of alcohol blast or anything like that whatsoever in the opening all the way through the dry down none of that whatsoever this fragrance right here screams high quality screams dopeness in a bottle for $15 and some change you cannot go wrong you cannot go wrong with this one if you like uh stronger with you or any type of like valentino umo type of fra fragrances that sweet like bubblegummy warm spicy type of a scent this one right here takes those two aspects of the original that Valentino uh, Umo type of a fragrances and like Stronger uh, With You takes both of those and elevate it to a very, very high level of greatness. Right here, right here in my hands. $15 and some change. Smells awesome. So let's just get into the way that it smells. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find a official note breakdown for this fragrance. However, the original Stronger With You does have a note breakdown that matches this quite nicely. So we're just gonna go off of that. So uh, yeah, this one right here is a very, very dope, warm, bubble gummy type of a nutty, also slightly boozy, slightly, slightly boozy, dry, sweet, candy-like type of a fragrance that screams compliments, if that's what you're looking for, that screams fall and winter time, has amazing longevity and projection. It just smells so high quality, just so terrific. What, what blows my mind to pieces is that this is $15. This here is $15. If you haven't smelled this yet, I advise you to hunt this down as soon as you can before it's all gone because this smells terrific, like a syrupy type of a sweet. Uh, aspect of a fragrance that goes beyond levels of greatness in terms of the rack store game as far as the cheapies go when you first spray this on you get this warm like chestnutty type of a sweet just gourmati type of a fragrance in the opening and the top notes is chestnut and sugar and the sugar is definitely elevating this this fragrance in terms of the sweetness and a chestnut gives it like a warm nutty type of a core to it that is like just amazing. Gives it a little bit of a balsamic type of a chord as well. Once you transition into the mid, you get that sage and lavender. Sage gives it like a little bit of a spice. Not too much of a green spice, but it's like a soft, sweet spice that's kind of like, you know, kind of like a little bit of a herbaceous, sweet, warm spice mixed in greatly with that chestnut and that sugar. Lavender gives it a little touch of potteriness, and the potteriness on here is sweet, sugary, and syrupy sweet. You get a lot of that vanilla that smooths all of that sugar out, making it very, very pleasant to wear as far, in terms of, you know, the harshness of that sugar being tamed down a bit. It's not really like a sweet, overbearing type of a fragrance when in terms of that sugar, because that vanilla... The vanilla is a key component inside of this fragrance that tames all of that aggressive sweetness down, makes it a little bit more mellow. But I still 
don't advise you to overspray with this at all. The only difference between this one and the, and the original Stronger With You is that it, I don't really get that smoke. It's smoking the bass notes of, you know, the note, break, the note breakdown of Stronger With You. The smoke, I really don't detect that much, but I detect everything else quite nicely. So overall, you get this sugary, syrupy, sweet, nutty, smooth, creamy, vanilla type of a fragrance that's powdery and warm and spicy and just amazingly just, man. All I gotta say is just get your hands on this. When I test the atomizer, that one spray filled this whole room up very, very, very nicely. So when it comes to applications, I will not say go heavy on the trigger with this. I'll say go like, you know, three to five sprays. You know, I'm gonna overspray it anyway, but when it comes to this, I'm gonna add, it's very, very strong. Very, very strong. So in terms of the longevity and performance, this lasts me a good 10 hour shift at work. Now, I have to advise you as far as like the projection, the projection was good within like, you know, an hour and a half to close to two hours. Then it came close to the skin because I oversprayed. And that was a mistake because I was sitting close to people while I was standing close to uh, people in the working area, but they didn't seem to care. And the projection was awesome. The longevity was awesome. Like a good eight to 10 plus hours of decent longevity if you overspray. But I feel like if you don't overspray with this, you'll still get a nice amount of performance. So man, when it comes to performance, it's no slouch, it's not a punk at all. But again, dial those sprays down. If you guys haven't noticed so far in this video that I absolutely love and adore this fragrance for what it is, to the point where I do have the Stronger With You original to the point where I want to just sell that and just keep this. This takes the, ori it takes the original Stronger With You and just make it just so, so, so much better to me. Similar, but better in my opinion. So yes, ladies and gentlemen from the house of Kamara, Contra for you, Eau de Parfum. Get it while it's hot because it's definitely hot and it's definitely out there. And try your best to find it. This holiday season, when people start getting to it, it's gonna be gone. So yeah, while you still got a chance, pick this up, pick this up. Okay, up next we have Contra Exquisite Latin Royal Edition Eau de Parfum. Let's get it. The atomizer on this is always gonna be dope. Kamara Perfumes, when it comes to atomizers, just like Milestone, kills the game in that aspect very nicely. But let's show it off anyway. Man, this one also ran me $15 and some change. This one here, I like a lot better than Contra For You. Now, if you were to find this one first before Contra For You, I would say go with this one throughout the long stretch of the imagination because this one here is a dupe of Parfum de Marley Layton. But it takes that scent profile of the original Layton and makes it so much better in a way that I can't really describe because it takes that lemon creamy zestiness, that, that lemon citrus, you know, that creamy lemon-like lemon pie type of a smell that you get out of Layton, it takes that and like transform it into something not like the original, but it goes into its own direction almost. Still staying true to what is cloning, but it takes it and makes it a lot better. And again, unfortunately, I couldn't find the official note breakdown for this one either. However, the original Layton, the note breakdown matches this one in terms of the way that it smells and performs on my skin quite greatly. So we're just gonna go off of that. In the opening of this fragrance, you do get a nice hit of that bergamot and apple. On my skin, 
I get a lot of that bergamot and apple as well as a slight powderiness of that uh, lavender. The mandarin orange is there accompanying the apple and the bergamot. I really don't get too much of that uh, that geranium, which is like a rosy type of a touch to it. There's a like green, rosy, masculine touch to it. A little bit of a floral aspect, as you, if you will. The violet and the jasmine, I do get. It gives a little bit more of a feminine type of a appeal to it. Not too much. Not too much in the opening. The jasmine is bright and citrusy and floral. Well, actually, the geranium and the, for, uh, no, violet and jasmine is in the mid, not the top. Excuse me. Once it dries down completely and it hits that base note of vanilla, cardamom, saddlewood, and patchouli, guyac wood, and all that, the pepper, the vanilla, the bergamot, and the apple is what, on my skin, I get the most out of, as well as that creamy, you know, smooth uh, saddlewood. The cardamom gives it like a dry, sweet oriented spice that is just so dope. But truly added a little bit more of a green sweetness that's dark and mysterious. The Gayak wood adds some more woodiness and the pepper has like a soft oriented spice. It's not too aggressive. The pepper is it's not like a spicy fragrance. It's not too spicy because all that sweetness and the vanilla tames that down, shaves all that uh, harshness of the pepper down a lot. But overall, you just get this powdery, creamy citrus fruity like citrus that's creamy has a bright floral aspect to it and a dark green mysteriousness to it now in the opening i will say that it smells like you know laden exclusive if i pronounce that right in terms of the opening at least because it does have that you know you know exclusive like if you if you smell that one it has like a mature yet like a dirty green earthiness to it you do get that in the opening just a little bit for some odd reason, I'm not sure why, but to me, you do get that in the opening just a little bit and that quickly fades away just like that and turns into the original Layton, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dupe. This is, but I do get that uh, that mature uh, Layton, that exclusive uh, edition, like that version of Layton, I get in here in the opening subtly. Not too much, but subtly. In terms of the performance, the performance on me with this is outstanding on how great of a performer this is. And I'm not really, I'm not surprised because if you're gonna copy Parfums de Marley Layton, you better copy the performance and the projection out of that bad boy because this one here, matches blow for blow sniff for sniff of the original so 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 smoothly so 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 greatly to the point where if you got the original you might as well sell that bad boy you might as well make a nice profit off the uh, original because this one right here for 15 dollars and some change does it, it does a great job like the original does but even better if you find this, I recommend getting a backup bottle, at least two, like three backup bottles of this. Then you got Layton for days. Man, this one right here, not synthetic spe uh, smelling compared to the original Layton. It's not no alcohol blast or anything like that. If I were to spray this on my hand and just go to a total stranger that does know what how Layton smells, I promise you, they will think I'll be wearing the original. I didn't receive any compliments on this, at least not yet, but yo, this has a strong factor and strong possibility to garner you the compliments that you are seeking because of the aspects and the, the attributes that this is compiled in this great, magnificent looking bottle. It will give you compliments if that's what you're looking for. It will send your nostrils to heaven. <sighs> I failed to mention though, when it comes to age groups with this, with the Conjure For You, this is more of a younger guy scent, like younger guy to middle age type of a scent, you know? If you are an older gentleman and you want to rock this and you like this, it doesn't matter, wear what you wanna wear, do what you do. But if you want my specific opinion on this one, this is more of a younger guy to middle age type of a scent. However though, Contra, 
Latin edition. I'm just gonna say Latin edition. I don't feel like saying the whole thing. But this one right here is more of a middle age on up type of a scent because it does have maturity in it in terms of that patchouli and that Gayak wood, making it a little bit more manly, making it a little bit more mature for the middle age and up to appreciate. When it comes to seasons for this one, as well as Contra for you, definitely, definitely, definitely fall and winter time. Do not, when it start heating back up in spring and summertime, don't wear it around that time. At least like when it's cooler at night, but this one right here, you will be clawing and disgustingly sweet and humid all over the place, but I digress. This is more for cooler weather only. Only. No, no, just only, okay? And make sure you dial the sprays down, like I said, with this one and this one. Especially this one, because this is atrociously loud if you overspray. Trust and believe me. So, that's all that I have for Scent Talk TV, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, you know what to do. You gotta like, comment, share, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything, and I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there and be blessed. Have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace.